Well, if you're interested in becoming a musher, it takes patience, practice, and a love of the sport itself. In part two of her series, TV6's Gabrielle Mays steps behind the sled to see what it's like to be a musher for the day. All right. Mushing is a fast-moving, action-packed sport that leaves you wanting more. And speaking of more, I wanted to see what it was like to have a team of dogs pull me across the snow. I enlisted the help of Jerry Trudell. He's been a musher for the past seven years. Now, about that team of dogs I spoke about earlier, Jerry wanted me to start off slow, so he hooked up McGee and Rhea to the sled. All right, so now it's time for me to get on this sled and become a musher for about maybe 20 seconds. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Before the ride, there were a few things I had to learn. The next rule is never let go of the sled because they'll take off. They won't, just because they're stopped, they won't stay stopped. They will, they'll take off. And I also had to learn how to brake. Yep. If you need to stop them, you'll use the claw brake, which again is, it's bungees hold it up, but it's, uh, this is a stainless steel brake with carbide tips, two uh, points on the bottom uh, that will be able to dig in to the, the trail. Now that I've got, got the basics, grip. it was time to try it out. As you can see, the dogs weren't moving one bit. Jerry says it's because his dogs don't race in doubles and they were waiting for the rest of the team to join them. With a little help from Jerry, both dogs started down the trail. It was definitely a fun experience. Now I can cross dog sledding off my UP bucket list. In Calumet, Gabrielle Mays, TV6 News.